All the sports are played. All sports are plays. All the sports are plays. We're making a place, we're talking the game, get you through the days We're high in the court, they're dying in the lane Variety topics, living the same All the sensations, sports information In the air, we're taking the nation All sport, all plays, they're working your faces Grace at the field, so tie the laces All sports, all plays Well howdy Welcome back to Arena Football Statement I do declare that I'm a year bombastic, satirical, half-hearted, half-handsome host, Cowboy Con. And I'm a here to gun down your CIF theories, so I'm a packing some heat. A pirate's pistol? A pirate's pistol, guys? How many times do I have to tell you it's not an IFL video? CIF, CIF, wardrobe, props. Get ready. Take two. Let's go. Take two. Is somebody going to call action? Action, Jackson. Action, Jackson. After a tight Champions Bowl in 21 that was decided by one point, the CIF is destined for another great season. Special congrats to Ricky Burtz, Marvin Jones, and the rest of 21's Omaha Beef on winning their first championship. But let's not dwell on the past. It's that time of year again, and due to the fact that the Southwest Kansas Storm are hosting the Arlington Longhorns on Feb 27, it's time for Cowboy Con to do what he's good at sucking at. Namely, ranking year 2022 CIF teams before we get a chance to see them perform. Let's get started. Number nine, the Wichita F For real? <laughs> The Wichita Force are gone. I know, I know. Don't dwell, let's not dwell in the past. I know, okay? Who do you work for? Yeah, that's right, me. Stay focused. That's what I've been telling you guys. Stay focused, all right? See, when you have three expansion teams coming to the same league, deciding which one's going to have the least amount of wins is a carefully intensely complex analytical process. Marshals, tropics, outlaws. Analytical process. And due to my ability to break it all down, the marshals are the worst in the league. Why? Because back in the Old West, marshals always seemed two steps behind bandits and outlaws who rode mustangs to steal beef quicker than a tropic storm and couldn't preserve the citizens' liberty. That didn't make a lick of sense. Oh well. Number seven. The Southwest Kansas Storm. The DC law couldn't keep up with bandits or outlaws either, and so they just rebranded to the Southwest Kansas Storm. Now you have this guy, this coach, Mark Timberlake. He might be very good for the organization, but he might have had just a little bit of a smaller talent pool to draw from. You see, quarterback Jalen Lowe is still with the franchise, and he may be, like Spirit, the stallion of the Cimarron. However, stallions might trot a pace slower than Mustang. Number six, the Wyoming Mustang. <laughs> you see, head coach Michael Coleman understands that the competition is really stiff, but he's not about to back down like a whining little colt. You see, Jared Harris returns to the defense looking for a lot more little sack lunches to feed his family. And Rashad Rocket Ridley returns rapidly running through rickety riffraff defenses. D -d -d defenses. I was always so bad with my R's. Sorry, Mom. But you see, better teams await the Mustangs. Number five, the Topeka Tropics. 
fun has entered Topeka, Kansas, whose weather is the furthest thing from tropical on this entire planet. So this brand new indoor football team is bringing the tropics to you. Derek Bernard returns to football and he is way better than some of you may think and automatically makes this coconut touting, palm tree loving team a contender. Head coach Tyus Jackson might have his hands full producing a good enough defense to actually contend for a championship. While they will do fantastic as an expansion team, not all things are bright and sunny in Topeka. And now, a word from our sponsor. With the FCF, USFL and XFL taking over spring football. Arena football may not get as many fans or have as much of a draw unless they do what it takes to get a TV presence and attract fans from all over the world before these other leagues are seen. A house divided against itself cannot stand. So unite for the survival of the game. Look into Fox D Network and ASAP Sports ASAP or you'll die. Boys, just kidding, that was extra dramatic. Let's get back to the rankings, shall we? Number four, the Sioux City Bandits. Watch out for Elvis Presley and his boy named Sue. J.R. Bond's other team returns with the great coach, Nerve Strobain, who always seems to put together a great defense. Now the QB play might determine how far this yard team goes. And these rootin', tootin', highfalutin', pistol packin', never slackin' banditos are always in the hunt for the ship. And this band from IOA don't owe a thing to nobody. They'll pillage, plunder, and pick it any when they can as long as they can at least corral the cattle in their own backyard. Number three. Ma. Ma. The Omaha Beef. The champs from a year ago could win it all again, sure. But what kind of fake sports anchor that knows nothing about nothing would I be if I didn't cast a little bit of doubt, okay? How's head coach Marvin Jones gonna motivate his team for some pure, unadulterated, smash mouth football if Dirty Dookie here doesn't say no repeat for beefies? So look, I'll be the first to acknowledge that the corral's gonna have a pretty good defense, but Daddy Duke off here thinketh the slaughterhouse won't be as offensive as I'm being right now. There's some bulletin board material for you, Coach Jones. Solid as the rock. You're welcome. Number two. Some patriotic homeboys we call the Salina Liberty. Could it be that the third time is the charm? After two straight championship games that came down to the final play, you can about guarantee that head coach Hiran O'Neill is going to be pulling out all the stops. Pompered by the rules and the stiff taxes of King George's zebras, O'Neill seeks to be the George Washington of our time. And with names like Dontre Matthews, Kendrick Harper, Tyree Adams, and Tracy Brooks, you can about guarantee that the Liberty will be featured in Champions Bowl 7, playing against number one. <laughs> Can a returning team be considered an expansion team? In this case, I think not. Why? Because them Billings outlaws have a winning reputation in their history. They may not have Chris Dixon on this squad, but they do have arguably the best indoor quarterback, speaking strictly by the numbers, Mr. Charles McCollum. You have a touchdown. You have a touchdown. Touchdowns for everybody. And they have Ulrich Jones leading the defense. They, he signed with Nas. And they have Kawan Alfred leading the defense. He signed with Orlando. Why did I pick them for number one again? Why is it snowing? Guys, Production design, it's a Western. And why, why isn't the sun shining? Why is there snow? <sighs> Cut. Take two, 78.
The first in-league games take place on March 12th when the Southwest Storm visit the Omaha Beef. And in Iowa, there will be the Bond Bowl between the Topeka Tropics and the Sioux City Bandits. So get that merchandise, reserve them tickets, and get your popcorn ready. Yeehaw! Wahoo! Because it's going to be a fun 2020 season, 2022 season between the ZIF teams. And, and, and you can send in your terrible comments for my hateful rankings, and that's my arena football statement. You're all fired. <laughs> You're all fired. You're all fired. Man, this blaze is dead. Hall of sports all plays. Hall of sports all plays. Hall of sports all plays. We're making a place, we're talking again, get you to the days We're high in the court, they're dying in the lane Variety topics, living the same All the citations, sports information In the airways, taking the nation All sport, all plays, they're working your faces Grace up the field, so type the laces All sports, all plays Net.